Welcome to the Battle of the Books competition for the 2019-2020 school year. I'm Ty Hawkins with KWCH. I'm going to be your host for this program. Joining me are student teams from Boston, Bostick, Cessna, and Jackson Elementary Schools. These teams have already competed in preliminary rounds at their schools in order to appear in today's program. We're looking forward to some exciting games. Students were given a list of 64 books to read. They need to be familiar with the events, characters, and authors of the books to answer the questions. They will also give a book talk about one title from the list. Each team has drawn a book title and was given 15 minutes to prepare a five-minute presentation about the book. These book talks were taped earlier and will be seen later in the program. Twelve points are possible for the book talk. The points will be added to the scores in all of the rounds. The first two teams to compete are Bostic and Cessna. So let's go ahead and start with Cessna. Good morning, students. Would you please introduce yourselves and tell us the title of your favorite book? Please, go ahead. My name is Marissa, and my favorite book was Grump. My name's Amanda, and my favorite book was The Boxcar Children. My name is Caden, and my favorite book was Hurricane Watch. My name is Anita, and my favorite book was Real Friends. All right. And how about you guys? My name is Victoria, and my favorite book was Shipwreck. My name is Lily, and my favorite book was The Ugly Duckling. My name is Gabby, and my favorite book is The Field Guide. Um, my name is Karen, and my favorite book is actually Heroes of Olympus. Oh, I'm glad you guys are all reading. Well, those all sound like great books, and best of luck to all of you this morning. So let's get started. We'll review the rules so that the audience will know how the game is played. Each match will consist of 20 questions given to alternating teams. Team members have 30 seconds to answer. They may confer about the answer, but only the person with the book may say the answer. Five points will be awarded for a correct title, with five points added if the team can also name the author. If the team cannot answer the question or the answer is incorrect, the other team is allowed five seconds to give an answer. Five points will be awarded for the correct title. Each team will play two rounds. First, let's take a look at the book talks from our first two, two competing teams. to Name That Book 2020. My name is Victoria Lau. I am your host. The book we are doing today is Beezus and Ramona by Cleary. Let me show you our contestants, Lily, Gabby, and Karen. Now, who knows the setting? Gabby. The setting is Crimby's house, the neighborhood, the park where Ramona plays while Beezus is at her art school, the school, the normal school, in the library. Correct. Ten points. Who knows the characters? Lily. The characters are Beezus, Ramona, and Beatrice. Dorothy, which is Beezus and Ramona's mother. Correct. Ten points. Who knows the problem and solution? Karen. The problem is that um, Ramona is so annoying to Beezus, her older sister, and um, she even Ramona even bites one uh, one bite on each of the apples um, out of all the Quimby's had, and she even wrote I's and T's in a library book. Once um, Beezus repaid the book for $20, um, it became hers. And whenever Ramona was bad, Beezus would say, Oh, when, when you're good, I'll read this book to you. And after that, um, Ramona stopped being very annoying, and Ramona and Beezus started to become good sisters. Correct. 20 points. Drum roll, please. The winner of Name That Book 2020 is Karen Curtis. Yay! Thank you for watching Name That Book. Bye. See you later. Anybody want to make some book pizza? I, I do. do! Let's make the boxcar children. We have, to start, we have to start with the crust, the setting of the story where it took place. It took place in a forest in a city. 
Next, we have to add the sauce. The main characters are Henry, Jesse, Violet, uh, Benny, and Dr. Moore. Next, we add the cheese. In the beginning, their parents die, and then they run away and live in a box car from the train, and then they they didn't want to go to see their grandpa. That leads us to the pepperoni problem. The problem was that they thought their grandpa was mean, so they kept running away from him. Don't forget the red pepper resolution. When the, the problem was resolved, when they found out their grandpa was actually nice. Now that our book pizza is complete, we have to slide it in the oven. Doesn't our book pizza look perfect? Yes! yes. Bostick earned 12 points on their book talk and Cessna Elementary earned 12 points. They will start the round with those scores. The team from Bostick will answer the first question. And our first question for Bostick is... Are you ready? Um, Pardon me, we're going to start with Cessna. You guys are ready. This is Bostick. I apologize, I got a lesson right. We're going to get it right here. You're looking at me like, I don't know what's going on, and that's fine. But you know what? I think you guys might. Let's get these questions going, all right? In which book do you read that Marky Mills Converse got his start in making his rubber galoshes in 1908? Chuck Taylor by Felix. That is correct. Let's move on to our questions over here for Cessna. Auntie Sarah caught trapped in the attic for 45 years while looking for the black lace weaver spider. Name this book. The Doll People by Morgan. By Sydney Otherton. Morgan. That's not correct for that. That is not. The title is correct. The title is correct. Do we move to this next question over here? Ready? All right, let's go back over here to Bostick. We're sliding the book down. In which book do you read that a needle-like mass of radiating thin crystals for, form in gypsum, rut rutile, and malachite? Rocks and, mineral spider, Rocks and minerals by, by Simon. Your answer is correct, congratulations to your team. We're going to move along to the next question over here. We're going to go back over to Cessna. This question is for you. April and her family were going to Colorado when their car broke down. In what story? Room 1 by Clements. That is correct. Congratulations. All right, Bostic, your turn. Let's slide the book down. When the family stopped to stay at Eddie's house, he warned them that traveling could be dangerous for African-American families. Name the book. Ruth and the Green Book by Ramsey. That is correct. Wow, you guys are doing great. Let's move right along over here to Cessna. It's your turn to try to match them. In this book, we slid the book down. Everybody ready to go? In this book, a girl has to hide that she's living with her grandmother. Name that book. All right, we're gonna go over here to Cessna, excuse me, Bostic. Your turn, chance for a steal. Sam and Keith and the Hotel Thief. Do you know the name of the author? Oh, they don't have Well, you are correct. You guys are doing great, keep it up. We're gonna stick with you guys over here. Your next question is, what was the book where a horse was trained to do things like kneel for the reward of an apple or chocolate bars? Sergeant Reckless by McCormick and Bruno. That is correct. Congratulations. Cessna, your turn. Book has been slid down. We're following directions. That's good. Time for your, hopefully you guys will get a point right here. The main character in this book switched armor with Sir Kay in order to continue having adventures. Name the book. Adventures of Sir Lancelot the Great by Horace Furman. Not Adventures of Sir 
Bostic, your chance for a steal. The Adventures of Sir Lancelot the Great. Author? You are right. All right, next question. Let's slide the book down. All right. Uh, make sure I got the right one for you here. You guys are hot right now. How you feel? Feeling pretty confident? All right, let's see what this next question has in store. Mr. Wolf has to convince the other members of his club to join him in saving 200 puppies. Name the book. Bad Guys by Blabby. You are correct. Congratulations, Cessna, your turn. In which book? Do we have the right person here? All right, good deal. You guys got some catching up to do. Let's be confident make it happen because you guys did a lot of reading, right? In which book did the main character go to the library down the road for books after he could no longer go to school? The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Kamkwamba and Miller. Congratulations, you are right. I, I had a tough time saying that last name too. All right, we're gonna move along to the next question. Nice job, Cessna. We're back over here to Bostic. Book slid down, following directions, we're ready to go. Which book set in the 1800s is a story about a real life tragedy? The Children's Blizzard 1888 by Tarshish. Ding, 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 you are correct, nice job. Moving back over here to Cessna. We slid the book down. We got it going. In this book, the main character loses her mother at age 16, leaving her alone with no means to survive. Can you name the book? Eight Keys by Lovelore. That is not correct. We're going to move over here to Bostic. You have a chance to steal, Lily. Red Pencil by Davis Pinkney. That is also incorrect. We're going to move on to the next question. Okay, the answer for both of you guys, or both of your teams, is Fancy Party Gowns, the story of fashion designer Ann Cole Lowe by Blumenthal. You might want to keep that one in mind just in case you see something like that again. And also these practice questions, I also saw a similar one circle through. So we're going to get on to the next question now. You ready to go? You nervous? You guys are scoring a lot of points. You got to keep this thing going, right? All right, here we go. In which book did three friends have to split up when riding on the streetcar? One having to sit at the back while the other two got to sit in the front. And remember, guys, if you ever need me to repeat a question, I'll be happy to repeat it if you need. Oregon on the or, Rescue on the Oregon Trail by Kate Messner. That is not correct. Bostic? Or Cessna, excuse me. Yeah, she's looking at me too. Mm -hmm. Would you guys like me to repeat the question? Mm -hmm. Moving along. Next question is for Cessna. We got the book slid down. You ready to go, bud? All right, this one's yours. Dave helps Keck move from a refugee camp in Africa to America to live with his aunt and cousin in Minnesota. He flies over in a plane that he calls a flying boat. Name this book. Home of the Brave, Cat Applegate. Of the Brave by Cat Applegate. 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 Is that your final answer? <laughs> nice, because you got it right. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Moving along, Cessna. You got a point. We're going to go back over here to Bostic. We're getting it going, guys. Keep up the good work. Name the book in which the main character had to drop out of Girl Scouts so she could care for her brother. The Boxcar Children by Warner. Cessna? How to Steal a Dog. That answer is correct. Congratulations. Sticking with Cessna over here, we're going to give them the next question. This one is for you. Which book has a character that challenges a pair of cutting tools to a battle? Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Daywalt. A timeless classic game. You are correct. Nice job. We're moving right along. Your turn, got the book in the right spot. In which book does the teacher tell one of the main characters that her rhymes are wrong because her lines, they're just extra long? Do 
Three Rules of Everyday Magic by Hill. Cessna? Meet Denitra Brown. That is correct. Cessna coming on strong. Now we're going to stick with you guys on this side. Let's keep that momentum going. The book is, hey, you scored the last point, right? Yeah, let's keep it going, huh? In which book are two of the main characters detectives who wear fedora hats as proof their detect of their detective status? Mr. and Mrs. Bunny, Detectives Extraordinaire by Horvath. That is the correct answer. Nice job, young man. Moving right along. We're going to go back over here to Bostick. We've only got a couple questions left, guys, so think and make sure we get the right ones, right? In which book does the main character create the Grand Canyon by dragging his axe on the ground? Grump by Shirtliff. Cessna? Paul Bunyan. That is correct. We're going to give you guys the last question. It's going to be interesting to see what the score is at the end of this one. You guys have all done a great job. So here we go. We're going to finish strong, right? The Abbots needed to pack over 200 pounds of flour, 75 pounds of bacon, 30 pounds of pilot bread, and 10 pounds of rice for the long journey to begin in Independence, Missouri. Name the book. The Rescue on the Oregon Trail by Messner. That is correct. Nice job. You finished strong. You guys did a great job on all the rounds. The judges are tallying the score right now. So you guys are out of school today, but you did a little bit of learning while you're out of school. How's it been so far? We'll start with one at a time. We'll start with you. Fun. How do you like the competition so far? Fun. You? Good. Fun? That's it? Just fun? We're not in school, but we're here doing school type things. How many books did you guys read? Anybody? Just let me know. You read 32 books? We read over I 32 because we read, read two books like and a half of another one. You read like 40 books? Yeah. Wow. How about you guys? Um, more than 16. More than 16 books? How do you think you guys did in the first round? Good. Feel pretty, pretty good. good. Are you feeling a little more comfortable, a little more relaxed so we yeah, can get yeah. this thing going? Yes. Isn't this TV thing crazy? I mean, I've never really been on TV, so it's my first time as well. It's, I don't know if you guys have been before, but I this is definitely a challenge. I'm really glad to hear that all of you guys have read these books because these are books you need to be reading. Reading is fundamental. I read books still to this day. Maybe not the same books you guys read. You guys might read better, more fun books than I do. You guys like Dr. Seuss? Did you guys ever read those yes. books? Yeah. Oh, the places books will take you. Go the places they will go, right? That was one of my favorite ones. So, now that we're all relaxed and friends, we kind of know each other, right? What well, sounds good for lunch today? <laughs> um, pizza. Pizza? Can't go wrong with pizza. If we're going there. Oh, you guys are going to pizza. Where are you guys going? Godfather's. Godfather's. Oh, you're going to Godfather's. That's not a bad deal. Win or lose, you're going? Yeah. All right. What kind of pizza do you want? Any kind of pizza? Dessert pizza. All right. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. That's all the time we have right now. The final score in this round, this game, was 82 for Bostic and 92 for Cessna Elementary. Congratulations, Cessna. They came on strong in the end. Let's take a look at the book talk from our new, from, from our new team in round two. What's the play, Mahomes? We're doing Real Friends by Shannon Hale. The characters are Sh Shannon, Wendy, <coughs> Jen, Jenny, and Andrew. The settings are Shannon's house and Shannon's school. The book is about Jenny and Jen have a group, and Jenny is spreading lies about Shannon because she joined it. And then Shannon left the group because she thought that Jenny was just going to try and get Jen to not be her friend. And then Jen joined Shannon's group, and then Jenny joined it because Shannon felt bad for excluding her. Hands in. Three, one, two, two one. Go cheese! The competitors in our next round are from Bostick and Jackson Elementary Schools. Jackson students, tell us your names and the title of your favorite book. My name is Joshua Haas, and my favorite book is The War I Finally Won. My name is Zaria Ward, and my favorite book is Eliza by McNamara. My name is Abigail Jackson, and my favorite book is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. My name is Kimmy, and my favorite book is um, A Series of Four Times Events by Snicket. Wow. 
bunch of great readers up here. Glad to see all that stuff. Would you be disappointed if I told you I'd never read a Harry Potter book? But I've seen a lot of the movies. Does that count? No. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ride here. Okay, we're going to move right along, guys. Cessna will begin the round with 12 points, and Jackson starts with 12 points from their book talks. The Cessna team will answer the first question. We're moving back over here to you guys. You ready to go? You were just over there, weren't you? And then you're over here? Okay. You're not, you're not amused. Let's get to the question. All right. Name the book that explains evaporation as the gas form of a common substance. A Drop of Water by Wick. That is the correct answer. Score a point right there for Cessna. You guys came on strong. Moving right along. We're going to go over here now to Jackson. Joshua, I got a question because I thought your name was Joshua Jackson, but you're Joshua who goes to Jackson Elementary, right? Mm -hmm. And your last name's Hawes. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes. Okay, so I need you to do me a favor here, okay? Because I was pretty right on all that stuff, right? I need you to get this one right, okay? Because you got okay. the team starting off on the right foot. Ready? Okay. In this book, a girl lives with her Aunt Bessie and Uncle Hugh because both of her parents have died. Name this book. Eight Keys by LaFleur. That is correct. You didn't let me down. Nice job, Josh. We're moving right along. Do you mind if I call you Josh? I feel like we're friends. Is that cool? All right. We're going to move right along here. Got the book slid down. You read 40 books. Is that right? 36? About, about 40. About. That's just a round number. We're just you know, throwing it out there. In which book does cold air rush out when Lisa or Lisa opens the parlor door? Old Willow's Place by Han. You got it. You guys are doing good. Keep it up. All right, your turn to try to match it over here, Jackson. You ready? You look ready. Let's go. All right, in which book does a girl have anxiety so badly, the only thing that seems to help is counting things, like bricks? Real Friends by Shannon Hill. You can never have enough real friends. Congratulations. That is the right answer. Move that book along. We're going to come back over here to Cessna and see if you guys can go three for three. You ready, Caden? All right. In which book does a girl create fabulous inventions with names like the snake away, the paint a palooza, a paint blobber, and a catapult using live cats? Okay. Do you know the Running low on time here, guys. Get ready to answer. Just say the, just say the title. Just say the title. Rosie Revere and the Rocket is Riveters. <laughs> Not quite your chance to steal, Jackson. Rosie Revere and the Rocket is Riveters. Three for three. You are right. Congratulations. We're going to keep over here on the next question. What's your name again over there, down there? The new question I'm going to ask you? Camille. Camille? All right. We're moving the book down, right? Your turn. Well, welcome, Camille. In which book do you read that the recycled orchestra performed at a concert with the band Metallica? Ada's Violin by... Huh? Hood. That is right. Four for four. Nice job, guys. We got a great round going here, guys. Keep up the good work. You ready to go down there? It's your turn. In which book do you read about a repurposed mission that Travis, Bowie, and others used to hold off the army of Santa Ana? Rescue on the Oregon Trail by Messiner. That is incorrect. We're going to go over here to Jackson. Josh, what do you think? Alamo All-Stars by Hale. That is correct. We're going to stick with you guys. Nice job, Josh. You want to slide the book down? or it. You keep it? Yeah, because... You're two for two. How do you feel about going three for three? Mm -hmm. You know? You see what happens? How about I read you a question and you give me an answer? That work? Sure. All right, let's do it. In which book do we learn about an artist who loved to draw animals and spent hours at the Central Park Zoo? Trying to capture the character of each animal and its weight, grace, and power. Tigers and Tea with Toppy by Curly. Man, you are undefeated so far, Joshua. That is right. Slide the book down. We're going to come back over here to Cessna. In which book did the main character see a flock of beautiful birds? Oh, I know, I know, I know. The Ugly Duckling by Pinkney. That is correct. Congratulations. You're going to slide the book down. We're going to stick with you. We're going back over here to Jackson, actually. You ready? You were pretty confident last time. It's a strong, silent type. I like that because I talk a lot. And you're ready for the question. All right. In what book did four children have to run away because their parents had died? The Book of Our Children by Warner. 
The Boxcar Children by Warner. That is correct. Do you believe that book was around when I was a kid? I was your size at one point. My mom loves that book. Does she? Good. Uh, your mom reads still, see? Reading is cool. All right, we're moving right along, guys. In this book, the student who caught the game-winning pass of the Mud Bowl was the son of the man who actually created the Mud Bowl. What was the book? Big Nate by Lincoln Pierce. Big Nate Blasts Off by Lincoln Pierce. Taking flight, you are correct. Judges, good? All right. Moving right along back over here to Jackson. In this book, the animals decide that they may never have to go outside to face their enemies because they have a new setup of tunnels leading to three of the finest stores in the world. Can you name the book? Fantastic Mr. Fox by Doll. Doll, Royal Doll? Is that the Royal Doll? I'm just curious because that's one of my favorite books with BFG. And if he's still writing these books, like, awesome. You are correct. Congratulations, guys. All right, we're going to go back over here to Cessna. Caden, here we go, buddy. Even though the class pet doesn't particularly like the teacher, well, sometimes that'll happen. You still got to go to class, all right? Mrs. Brisbane, he learned the reason she wasn't happy when he went to her house for Thanksgiving. He was able to help Mrs. Brisbane's husband get a new outlook on life. Which book? The World According to Humphrey by Bernie. That's it. Congratulations, Caden. Nice job. We're going to come back over here to Jackson. You ready down there? You guys are all doing great. Keep it up, okay? Doing great. In what book do you read about a man who walked six miles in a blizzard and died of pneumonia two weeks later? The Children's Blitter, Blizzard 1888 by Tarsus. That is not correct. You have a chance to steal, Cessna. Time is up. Moving on to the next. Oh, yeah, the right answer is Snowflake Bentley by Martin. You guys remember that book at all? Anything? Yeah, okay. All right, we're going to go. We're going to stick with Cessna over here. When the main character of this book was feeling bad about the mean comments a classmate made, her mother reminded her that her name is Estrella, Estrella which means star that can light up the dark. You guys look like you might be ready. Name the book. Stella Diaz has something to say by Dominguez. Dominguez will take it. Close enough. Nice job, guys. Congratulations. We're coming back over here to Jackson. All right, Josh, you ready to go, bud? Yes. When her, ba her new baby brother, Gregory, is born, this main character makes a vow to do everything she can to keep him safe. Name the book. Small steps. That is incorrect. Cessna? Chance to get some points here. Time is up. The answer was Serafina's Promise by Berg. Next question. The main character of this book is not a fan of Shirley Temple. Name this book. Jackson? Turtle in Paradise? You got it. You got the right answer. We're going to stick with you guys, Jackson. You're like undefeated. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. Like you got them all right. Like that's pretty impressive in case you were. I think it's impressive. All right. Name the book that has the main character living away from home for seven months because of her illness. Small Steps by Peg Carrot. You got it. Congratulations on that one. All right, Cessna, here we go. We got to get a point here, guys. Many people save paper for a sick girl who folds origami birds. In what book? So they go in the Thousand Paper Cranes by Core. You stepped up and got it. Congratulations. That is the right answer. Real quick, guys. 
when you're thinking about maybe a steel, I don't know if they still do it, but six inch voices, because I can hear you guys and what might be the next thing and people can read mouths and you don't want them to steal your points if they don't know, just so we know. All right, here we go, Jackson. Last question of this round. In which book does Kate resent the nickname her parents gave her? Katie did because she feels she's outgrown it and doesn't like being compared to the bug. The Three Rules of Everyday Magic by Hill. That is correct. Congratulations. Wow, you guys did a great job. Nice job, both teams stepping up and making some good decisions on the answers you have out there. Oh, how do you guys feel? Great. Great? All right, <laughs> feeling pretty good. Well, you guys are going to pizza after this, right? Is that no, you guys? No, That's you Brahms. guys. We're going to Brahms. Oh, you're going to Brahms? What are you going to get? Um, ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream and food. Ice cream and food. Ice cream food, though, right? It's more of a liquid type. Oh, is it? Because okay. it melts. It melts kind of fast. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> oh. It's kind of liquid and solid. Yeah. So, so it's not complete. Do you guys like to read? Is that how you guys got involved in this? Sure. Mm -hmm. So are we taking a break from reading after we've read 40 no, books no, or are we going to yeah, keep reading? No. Oh, reading. you want to take a break? <laughs> no. Keep reading? <laughs> uh, what is, uh, real quick, we'll go with you, Caden, over here. What's one of the books you're reading right now or a book you like that you can think of? Uh, um, right now I'm reading a book that's just full of science experiments. Do mm -hmm. you like it? Mm -hmm. That's good. All right. How about you? Uh, I can't see your name. I'm sorry. Abigail. All right. I'm Ty. Nice to meet you. How you doing today? Uh, tired. Tired? Okay. <laughs> Why are you tired? Did you get a late night? I couldn't sleep last night, so I was so excited. So nervous and excited. You guys are doing great. Keep it up, guys. You know who else is going to be excited next week and nervous are the Kansas City Chiefs. We got Chiefs fans in here? Yeah. yeah both charts, so. we were technically the Chiefs. Oh, really? He was my home. What's that? Oh, you were Pat Mahomes? Mm -hmm. He's pretty good. All right, nice job, guys. We're going to move right along. The score in this round was 82 for Cessna and 107 for Jackson Elementary. Congratulations, Jackson. Jackson. While we change teams for our final round, let's see if you can answer some questions about last year's books. We're ready to start our final battle to see who the winner will be. The teams are from Bostick and Jackson Elementary Schools. A good luck to both of you. Hopefully you guys do great. I know you will. The team from Bostick will answer the first question. Bostick, welcome back. How you doing? Good. Nervous? Mm -hmm. We're ready to get this thing done, aren't we? We're going, we're, going to, we're going to do good. You guys are ready. Let's get to it. In which book do we learn about a woman who helped to establish a free school to provide education for local children whose parents could not afford to pay for schooling as there was no public school system in the early 19th century. Eliza by McNamara. Eliza by McNamara. We'll take it. All right, you ready? Yes. All right, in which book do you read about people coming to choose children to live with them? A Family Apart by Nixon. You got it. Nice job, Jackson. All right, time to match him. You guys are all off to a great start. Final round, we're ready to go. In this book, the main character has a pet bat named Leaf. Name the book. Grump by Shirtliff. Yahtzee, you got it. Congratulations, we're moving right along. All right, is it Zariah? Zaria. Our strong, humble, quiet little leader over there. You ready to go? All right. 12-year-old Matt is left on his own in the woods of Maine and, has, and is befriended by an Indian chief and his grandson. Name the book. Son of the Beaver by Spear. 
That is correct. Congratulations. All right, guys, you guys are doing great. We're going point for point here, so we got to keep this up, right? The spinning of the earth is what makes these storms swirl in circles. Name the book where you learn this information. Hurricane Watch by Stuart. That, we are in tor tornado country, but Hurricane Watch is the answer to the book. Congratulations, you scored a point. Nice job, Bostick. All right, moving right along. You guys got to match it. You ready, Abigail? Yeah. All right, you ready? Okay, the boy in this story named his creature Tiamat, or Tiamat, depends, and was relieved that the creature was invisible to his mother. Name the book. The Field Guide by Detrosian Block. That is not correct. You guys have a chance to steal over here, Bostick. Jeremy Hatcher. Thatcher. Thatcher. Dragon Hatcher. Dragon Hatcher. Say the full title for me. Jeremy Thatcher. Jeremy Thatcher. Thatcher. Dragon Hatcher. Judges, we'll take it. Nice job. Good team. More guys, you got it. Nice job. You did good right there. All right, guys, you got it. We're going to stick with you guys down here, Bostick. Name the book that describes how the people buried treasure with their, with their dead so they would have things like food, clothes, furniture, and jewelry in the afterlife. Ancient Egypt by Drimmer. King Tut buried in his jammies. You guys remember that from Saturday Night Live? Okay, probably not. But yeah, you guys are right. The answer is correct. Nice job. Over here, Bostick, we're going to move along over here to Jackson. You guys are going point for point here. It's a great round. Keep it up, guys. Name the book in which the main character is trying to prove to her mother that she is just fine and doesn't need her. Gertie's Leap to Greatness by Beasley. That is correct. Nice job, Jackson. All right, Cessna, sliding the book down. Bostick, excuse me. Let's all just calm down. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Feeling pretty good? You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. You guys, this is really fun. In which book is the character a master at hide and seek? The Children's Blizzard, 1888 by Tarshish. That is not correct. Jackson, you have a chance to steal. Poppy by Avi. That also is incorrect. The answer was Winnie's Great War by Maddock. All right, we're going to swing the question over here now to Jackson. Josh of Jackson, are you ready to go? Oh, Please. yeah, you sure it's your turn? Yeah. We're right, right? Ready to go? Yeah, it was just a steal. Oh, okay. Yeah, confuse me. Stealing's bad, though, in real life, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll make sure we're on the same page. In which book must the characters ask an owl permission to move about, about or he will eat them? Poppy by Avi. You are correct. Congratulations, Jackson. We're going to move over back over here to Bostick. Bostick, in which book is Joe sentenced to one weekend of manual labor for roughhousing indoors with guests? Just throw something out there. It's okay to guess. Alamo All Stars. That is not the correct answer. Jackson, you have a chance to steal. Mm. Out of violin? That is also incorrect. The correct answer was Not So Jolly Roger. The Not So Jolly Roger by Siska. We're going to call it Siska for today, okay? Because Shishka. Shishka. Okay, see, you had a chance to steal. You know the name of the author. What's going on here, man? Right. I don't know either. Ah, oh, okay. Hey, put that on the to do list then, right? All right, moving right along. Our question is going to be for Jackson. This one is for you. In which book is a child born with a twisted spine and other disabilities? Twisted spine. In which book is a child born with a twisted spine and other disabilities? Small steps. That is incorrect. Bostick, Bostick here's your chance. Red pen. Time was up. The correct answer was the red pencil by Pink Me. It's okay. Hey, I, tensions are high right now. This is playoff action. You guys are doing great. All right, we're going to stick with you guys, though. So use that same strong voice you were ready to use on that one, okay, so judges can hear you guys. In which book does the main character's father invite her to join his war band at the end of the book? Fame 
fancy party gowns? That is not the correct answer, Jackson. The Mad Wolf's daughter. Ding, 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 you've got it. Steal for Jackson. We're gonna keep the questions over here with you guys. In which book does the main character tell her party guest that Fig Newton cookies are filled with worms? Ooh. Beezus and Ramona by Cleary. You got it. Nice job. Got the steal and you got a point right there. All right, Cessna, or excuse me, Bostick. Here we go. In which book does a scientist named Anna go missing? Um, at the Bottom of the World by Nye. Throw her a high five. She got that one right. Nice job. Congratulations. Do you know the name of the author? Um, Nye. Nye. Good job. All right, we're moving right along. This is a great round, guys. Let's keep it up. You guys are doing fantastic. In which nonfiction book does a girl's father die when she is nine? Eight keys by Lafer. Chance to steal, Bostic. Turtle in Paradise. The correct answer is Turning Pages, My Life Story by Soto Mayer. Soto Mayer. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Was it a good book? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, you still your guys' question. Victoria, you ready? In which book do we find four main characters floating in the ocean on a makeshift raft left over from the explosion of the Phoenix? Shipwreck by Corman. You got it. Congratulations. Nice job scoring points. This is a great round, guys. Let's get, wow. I'm going to be interested to see what the final score is. In which book was the main character's job as a member of the, fire, of the fighter squadron 51 to take out enemy bridges and ro railroad lines? Thirty minutes over Oregon, by Nobleman. That is incorrect. Oregon's a nice state. If you ever get a chance to check it out, let's go over here to uh, Boston. Who was Neil Armstrong? That is correct. He also sang the song "Sweet Caroline." You guys, are, actually, that's Neil Diamond. That was wrong, but uh, close, right? Nice job, guys. You got this deal there. Yeah, he's not very good. You're good. You're good to go. You're good. We're gonna stick with you guys. You guys are doing great. In this book, we read about a soldier who wishes to gift his sword to Brookings, Oregon. Name the book. Adventures of Sir Lancelot the Great by Morris. By Morris. That is incorrect. 30 minutes over Oregon. That is correct. Just to show off a little bit, do you know the title of the author or the name of the author? I'm just curious. Nobleman. Okay, I'll move along. All right, question for you guys. Number the last and do we slide the book judges over or is it stick no, with not on a steal. Okay, not on a steal. Final question of the round, so both teams be prepared, because if they don't get it right, you guys have a chance to steal, right? This is the only time we condone stealing, is in this environment, okay? In this book, the main female character causes a ripple in Paris when the people of Paris discover she is ma a mathematical prodigy. Name the book. Samantha Spinner and the Super Secret Plans. That is not correct. You have a chance to steal Cessna. Or excuse me, Boston. Nothing stops Sophie. Bye. Bye, Doe. Oh, you're showing off now. You even got the name of the author. Congratulations. That is the right answer. We're going to let the judges tally up the scores right now. You guys did great, all of you. I don't think there was hardly... Are you nervous? How, how do you feel? Tell us how you feel, Gabby. I feel so nervous and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it is scared. But you might be nervous, but this is a great like exercise for you guys when you move forward in school and things like that. Um, are you excited to see what the final result is? Yes. Who's going to win? <laughs> you guys? I think uh, they are. Oh, what? I was trying to keep track of in my head as best as I could. Uh-huh. And you got yeah. a feeling that they might have came out on top? Yeah. Well, I think, I think the best team will win, but you guys are all great teams. And keep reading books, that's the number one thing of this. So, Josh, if I was going to go to Brahms and I was going to get ice cream, what would you suggest? I have no idea. I've never been to Brahms, at least not in a long time. <laughs> what? Yeah. Turn and burn? What's turn and burn? 
Where's what's it's this? an ice cream place. Where's yeah. it at? I don't know. I'm not a driver. Yeah, I, I'm not a driver. I just moved here a little bit ago, so I'm still using the whole... I was actually about to be late. Luckily, these wonderful judges got me to the right spot. Well, I would do Old Stone because, like, um, they have these, like, huge, just one scoops. They're mm -hmm. huge. They take the little clipper things and chop it up in front of you, right? And then you can put it in a cone, too? Yeah. I like uh, the rolling mill. Oh, freezing mill. Yeah, freezing mill. Yeah. I like... Eight below because mm -hmm. it closed down. Oh yeah, it closed down. Though. But it was really cool. It was really. Cool. There's yeah. by my house there. I think there's an eight below underneath the train station in one of the parts. It's like an yeah. I've had it where they take it and they yeah, sh yep. scrape yeah, it yeah, off. They, like, yeah, it was it, open. Yeah, yeah there used to be um, in uh, Dallas. There's a uh, um, seventy-five degrees. Uh, it's like a, a bakery. Mm -hmm. Good. I went to Daiso too. They all oh, Daiso is really fun. How about this weather? You guys liking the weather? Did you guys yeah. have to wear coats to school today, or did we have to go maybe a lighter wore jacket? A jacket? You wore a lighter wore jacket. A jacket. Oh. Coat without a hood. Without a hood. Oh wow. How about that? So you guys did really good today. How did you guys decide to get involved in this? Is it a volunteer type thing? Did your teachers pick you? No, we had to have a competition at our school. Before this. So you won the competition at your school of the yes. other teams at your school. You beat them out to represent Bostic. Yeah. Yeah. We beat some fifth graders. Oh, wow. What grade are you guys in? Third. Uh, third and then fourth. Third grade was so awesome. Mrs. Henderson will always be one of my favorite teachers. She's just third grade's cool. And when your parents tell you to enjoy it while you can, they're not lying. They're, they're for real. What about you guys? Third graders as well? Fourth graders? Or? Two fourth graders, two fifth, fifth graders. Mm -hmm. There was two third graders on the team last year. Oh, yeah? Me and my friend Karis. And then there was a fourth grader and a fifth grader. All right. You were on the team last year then? Mm hmm And it's Zariah, correct? Zaria. Zaria. Like Daria, but with a Z. Zaria, right? How many books did you read? 32. You read 32? How many books were you? did they ask you to read? 16, 16 but no one was on the on blue. blue. No one what? Was on the blue list. Oh, I got you. So they asked you to read 16 books and you went ahead and doubled that. So you're kind of an overachiever, right? I memorized the titles and authors for 38 books. Really? That's fantastic. So we're going to see if that paid off for you moving along. The score for this round was 87 for Bostick Elementary and 72 for Jackson Elementary. In our tournament today, Bostick scored 169 points, Cessna scored 174 points, and Jackson scored 179 points. Our winner today is Jackson Elementary. Congratulations, Jackson. Hi. High fives all around, guys, and we got some prizes here. These guys right here. Everyone gets a bag? All right. Joshua, congratulations. Thank this one you. is for you. I can't, I can't move. You guys are going to, you know, if you want you let, there we go. Teamwork. We're going to slide it down. There you go. Even the camera operator, she's like, come on, Ty, get it together. There we go. And medals. Nice. And that's nice of you guys to graciously share some of those gifts with your host since I decided to go. Oh, okay. right. Nice job, guys, though, in all seriousness. This is great. Let's get you some medals. Wow, these are nice. You mind? No. Oh, okay, I'll give them to you. You guys mind passing those down, please? Yeah. Nice job, all teams involved. Cessna, Bostic, and Jackson, you guys all did really good. We all win today. They might have got a bag and some medals, but the most important thing you guys can take from this is the books you read and the information you got from it, and you get to get out of school a little bit. And where are we going for lunch, this group right here? Nowhere. Oh, we go wherever we want then. You know, just tell the teacher. You know, you're not a driver, though, so you can't go part of this is that we all had fun, right? Yeah, they, fun is a, a very important part of it. You are right, Joshua. Very good. Way to go. Your dedication and teamwork throughout the year was a great accomplishment. We're proud of you and all of the students who participated on the teams in our schools. Thank you for your efforts. Thank you also to the library and classroom teachers and parents for all they have contributed. Join us this afternoon at 2 p.m. here on WPS-TV, Cox Cable Channel 20, or usd259.org slash WPS-TV online to see another exciting battle of the books competition. And always, always remember, have fun, but remember, keep reading.